Countess Bedina, uh, Minister Heubisch, guests of honor, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. I was asked to uh, introduce the uh, 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 small sample of uh, members of the Bavarian elite network uh, and um, make a few remarks beforehand. And when I got this <coughs> request, I knew that I couldn't re refuse because I owe a lot to the state of Bavaria. First, I was born here. Um, even better, I was born in the district of Schwaben, Swabia, of which uh, Linda is a part, about 130 kilometers uh, northeast of here. I received all my uh, school education around my birthplace. Um, I went to university, Munich. I was even recipient of a uh, stipend that seems to have been a precursor of the uh, part of the el elite network. And following that, following my, my uh, graduation, um, uh, I did perhaps or participate in, in the most successful project uh, at, uh, of, of my life so far um, at the Max Planck Institute for Biochemistry in uh, Martinsried. And that project eventually uh, got me invitations to Linda, um, which... Um, the Linda meeting, I always watched from a large distance and thought, this is nothing for me. But uh, <clears throat> now I've been here for the, I think, 10th or 11th time. Um, for reasons I don't want to get, get into, I uh, defected um, 22 years ago to Texas. And... Um, I had plenty of uh, opportunity to compare the two places. There are similarities and differences. Similarities are that both states, Bavaria and Texas, lie south of the center of gravity of the con respective countries. Um, they are among the biggest states, I think Bavaria is the biggest state by, by area in, in Germany. Texas is second biggest in the U.S. Uh, after Alaska became a state. And uh, both uh, seem to uh, have a lot of people who think that they are not quite uh, part, 100% part of the respective countries. Um, <laughs> so there is a, uh, some kind of a... I mean, recently, the governor of Texas made remarks that could be interpreted as uh, uh, a move towards secession of Texas from the U.S. Nobody took him seriously, I think. <clears throat> but that uh, characterizes a little bit the... Uh, the, uh, the uh, attitude towards the central state. And then both states have uh, conservative, uh, predominantly conservative uh, political leanings. And um, <clears throat> even though there are degrees of, of, of conservatism, and I would venture the, op the opinion that Texas is a lot more conservative than Bayern. But <clears throat> That can be discussed at another time. There are also differences. And uh, one of them came, became clear in the speech of the minister um, uh, that concerns beer. So um, there are regions in Texas where you cannot get a beer in a restaurant, not to speak of wine. And I think that would be absolutely unthinkable in, in Bavaria. And so, 
I don't know what is the, the deeply underlying difference, but uh, that is certainly a, a, a big change, um, and I had to get used to that we cannot um, legally um, serve beer on the campus of our own university, and uh, we always have to smuggle it in, and we <laughs> cannot shine up on, on any uh, accounting uh, sheet or so. Um, it's a very strange situation uh, still. But <clears throat> apart from that, um, there's also, as far as I know, no elite network and, uh, in Texas. And so I was very um, uh, pleasantly surprised to read about the elite network. Uh, I think it's a, a fantastic idea to bring uh, young people in various stages of their career together, uh, give them the feeling that they belong to some uh, larger uh, group, and uh, enable them to exchange uh, uh, experiences and uh, maybe um, <clears throat> discuss career questions with peers that are not so easy discussed, easily discussed with, with uh, mentors or, or uh, parents or whoever. So uh, at, that would be something that could be proposed to, uh, to uh, Texan politicians. I have little hope that it would... Uh, 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 <clears throat> find a lot of enthusiasm, but uh, so I, I congratulate Bavaria to this wonderful program and uh, <clears throat> to uh, get a taste uh, of the people who are in this program. Uh, we have three young scientists here. Uh, who want to, uh, or were asked to, to describe their research within five minutes, which is a very cruel thing to do. But <coughs> uh, that's the constraint of, of the, uh, the time frame of this event. So <coughs> the first one is uh, anne katrin Prepstel, uh, who is a 50-year uh, medical student at Ludwig Maximilians University in Munich, um, and <clears throat> also, I mean, we would call it an MD-PhD program. She is also uh, a, a graduate of the doctoral program, systems biology at the LMU, and uh, doctoral candidate at Max Planck Institute of Neurobiology. And she will uh, talk to us about a topic that uh, sounds like from bench to bedside, anti-MOG autoantibodies as biomarkers in childhood multiple sclerosis. <clears throat> 